We're standing in Beeston, a suburb of Nottingham, outside the house where one of my former colleagues, Colonel B.D. Shaw, used to live. He was very famous as a lecturer on explosives. He used to demonstrate the most hair-raising experiments. And in his honor, I'm wearing a special tie. You can see here, this is the tie which my colleague, Jim Gamble, burnt with white phosphorus, recreating one of B.D. Shaw's experiments. We're here now to put up a plaque in his memory so everybody who comes past the house will learn about B.D. Shaw. Blue plaques are a UK tradition. When somebody dies who is famous, they put on their house a nice blue plaque which says who lives there and their dates and why they're famous. And we're really fortunate that the Civic Society here has decided to honor B.D. Shaw. So let's put up the plaque. really good and I'm really impressed how carefully it's being put up. I'd never have done such a good job. I now turn off the gas and remove the tin. So this goes more rapidly and this accelerates all the way down the tube. And the burning of the first portion generate, causes expansion. This creates pressure on the remainder and this also raises the temperature. Anyone who's ever pumped up a bicycle tire knows that the pump gets warm. I know I don't look like a clever man, but... <laughs> yeah. Explosive and chemist, yeah. And I would now like, before doing this, the volunteers with the fire extinguishers to step forward. So B.D. Shaw kept some explosives here when he lived here. And when he died, the bomb squad had to come to clear the house to make it safe but I visited it before he died, but I didn't realize there was explosives in the house, or I might have been more careful. Lecturers don't seem to have time to do experiments in lecture. And this is a great pity because it means that the students never see experiments.